Get a discount up to 30% with Drive Safe and Save. Some say hold the pickles. We say hold them in your arms and thank them for helping the Quarter Pounder achieve full deliciousness. The hottest, juiciest Quarter Pounder yet. It's perfect. Made perfecter. ba da ba 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 April 18th is National Piñata Day, but you don't need to hit a paper mache unicorn to get stuff you want. Just become an AARP member, get health tips, learn about the latest tech, have nights out at local restaurants and more. Get your AARP membership today. Ahoy! Gotcha! No! Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker and is two times more absorbent. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. I'm a police officer. I was assaulted by a superior officer. Department pushed her over the edge. He's covering up something. Olivia. You lied to my face. SBU returns Thursday. 911, what's your emergency? Help me. Ma'am, is someone there with you? Are you unable to speak? <laughs> Hello? No, 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 no. I'm on my way. Just hang on. The bone collector has had me in his crosshairs for a long time. Playing his game is the only way we've ever gotten close to him. We just have to win. Lincoln Ryan, The Hunt for the Bone Collector, Friday on NBC. Stick around later for Jimmy Fallon as he welcomes Blake Lively to... Tonight on Newswatch 12 at 10, as the snow adds up across the Northwoods, so too do the snow banks. While one local town is hoping to bring them down. Plus, President Trump's Senate impeachment trial moves into a new phase. The big question for that trial moving forward and what lawmakers are saying about it. And we'll show you how local volunteers are stepping up to help a couple abandoned bear cubs. As the news from where you live starts now. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 at 10 starts now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Justin Betty. It's been a pretty snowy winter so far, and after a series of storms earlier this year, snow plows in one Lincoln County community ran nonstop for three straight weeks, creating massive snow banks. But now the city is working to clear those piles, with officials saying are causing problems now and could cause more problems in the near future if they're not taken care of. News Watch 12, Stephen Gowen reports. Blink and you might miss it. Cars almost completely disappearing behind snow banks in the city of Tomahawk. When you're stopped at a stop sign, you look left or right, there's areas where, quite frankly, you can't see very far at all. Public Works Director John Cole says those piles of frozen snow can grow to 8 or 10 feet. Restricting roadways and causing safety concerns he wants to tackle head on. This year we're being a little more proactive. We've got some, you know, between snowstorms, we've got some downtime, so we're going in there and removing some of that snow. In between snowstorms, Cole says his team will hit the streets at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning, hauling snow to these dump sites around town instead of waiting for warm weather to melt it. Right now, these snow banks are practically frozen solid. But when these icy banks begin to melt, they create a whole new set of problems for the Public Works Department. In 2019, Cole says chunks of frozen street snow clog city gutters and created a mess. We get some thawing, there's no place for the water to go, then we had flooding. Cole says he wants to avoid the same slushy situation on city streets this year. Hoping the public will be patient while roadways are rescued. It's not a very... Uh pretty process. It's loud, it's noisy, it takes a lot of time, it's expensive, but if you don't do it, um, like I said, you're going to pay for it one way or the other. That was Stephen Gowen reporting. The Public Works Department says they will target snow banks on the city's busiest roads first and then move to the residential areas. <laughs> outside probably no snow banks melting today Jeff but maybe sometime soon yeah high temperatures topped out near 23 today in Rhineland are also across much of the area and that's where temperatures are right now as there are still lots of clouds out there helping keep temperatures up tonight we'll have low temperatures in the upper teens or so across much of the area this evening and here are the clouds from space there's just a lot of clouds out there it's been cloudy for five or six days around here as you know uh, we could get 
maybe a couple breaks in these clouds tomorrow as we go between systems for a couple hours tomorrow. So maybe five seconds of sunshine for a few of you tomorrow afternoon, followed by some more clouds tomorrow night, and then most likely all clouds down the day on Friday as well. Future cast shows clouds out there tonight and tomorrow. You could see a couple light sprinkles or flurries this evening. That will not be a big deal at all. And then finally, by tomorrow morning or so, we could get a couple rays of sunshine through the clouds. Your forecast then for tonight, though, is cloudy skies out there. Again, a couple of flurries here and there with low temperatures in the upper teens. Your full forecast is coming up. Justin. New tonight, an Oneida County judge has dismissed a case against Rhinelander Mayor Chris Fredrickson, along with four city council members, accusing them of violating the state's open meetings law. The Lakeland Times and Northwoods River News both filed a civil complaint against these elected officials. The newspaper said the five violated the Sunshine Law while trying to convince Alderperson George Kirby to step down as city council president. However, according to court documents, Judge Michael Bloom has now dismissed that case. Volunteers at Wild Instincts Animal Rehabilitation Center in Rhinelander never know what creature will come through their doors next. But as Newswatch 12's Peter Dubois tells us, these dedicated volunteers are now providing the bare necessities to some new patients. They don't have mother to keep them warm, so we have to kind of do it artificially. These bear cubs are roughing the winter at Wild Instincts Animal Rehab Center in Rhinelander. <laughs> That's after they were found nearly frozen to death by a farmer just days after they were born. Mama bear runs away, so they look a little closer, and here's two little cubs in a little depression right in the middle of the cornfield. Luckily for Director of Rehabilitation Mark Naniot, raising cubs is nothing new. It's not unusual. Just about every other year we probably get a, a, a batch this young. But these little guys can prove to be a handful this time of year. Summertime, you're looking at feeding once a day. These little guys, when they first came in, it's every three hours around the clock. And so it's very little sleep for us. The bears must be bottle fed until they can see, but once they can move and eat independently, volunteers have to take a completely hands off approach. DNR biologist Michelle Woodford says that's crucial to their success in the wild. How wild is that animal? And will that animal have that natural healthy fear of people? That natural fear can mean life or death once the animals are released. Once that bear gets into the habit of breaking into the garbage cans or, or breaking into somebody's house to get food, then unfortunately we have to take more drastic measures. That's why come March, Wild Instincts will look to place these cubs in a foster den to be raised in their natural environment. If we have a situation where we know this mother has produced four in the past, this year she's only got two, so we can add two cubs to that and let them be raised in the wild way, which is a much better way to go. Despite their cuteness, <laughs> Naniot understands these animals are far from pets. We know the end game is to get them back into the wild, and if we screw up and get them too used to people, then we know they'll never be able to be released. And so when you keep that in the back of your mind, it's pretty easy to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do. In Rhinelander, Peter Dubois, Newswatch 12. Officers from the Forest County Sheriff's Office have arrested two people for possession of heroin. They say it followed a traffic stop in Wabino around 2.40 Sunday afternoon. A canine officer helped search the vehicle, which the Sheriff's Office says led them to find heroin and drug paraphernalia in that vehicle. 25-year-old Carl Gurdine Jr. and 26-year-old Sharon Armstrong were both taken to custody. Armstrong has now been released from custody. Gurdine remains in Forest County Jail. The Forest County Sheriff's Office has also released new details on another traffic stop last week that led to a meth bust in Leona. They say a canine unit found meth, syringes and drug paraphernalia in this vehicle. A search, warranted, uh, a search warrant executed on Monday led them to find more meth manufacturing products in the Leona home. Both the vehicle's driver, Kristen Kozlowski, and its passenger and owner, Shandon Tallier, are now in custody. They're being held on $20,000 cash bond. Governor Tony Evers signed an executive order today creating a student debt task force. Nationally, student debt has skyrocketed to over $1.6 trillion, impacting over 45 million people. Under the executive order, the Secretary of the Department of fin Financial Institutions will work to reduce education-related debt and prevent abusive practices. That includes financial literacy education for borrowers. Vice President Mike Pence visited Madison yesterday to tout school choice in the state. The program allows students to attend private schools or charter schools using taxpayer money. Congressional candidate Tricia Zunker, a Democrat, tells Newswatch 12 today, public taxpayer money should only go towards 
public schools. She added many folks in the North Woods and those most vulnerable don't really have school choice anyway. If a family has a handicapped child, a child with special needs that the private voucher school refuses to accept, they don't have a choice. They just have their, their public school. So um, I support our public education and our tax dollars going to investing in our public education. Zunker said another problem with school choice is the lack of oversight or accountability for private voucher schools, leading in some cases to abuse of public funds. Conservatives have long championed school choice as a fairly cost-effective alternative to traditional public schools. The impeachment trial of President Donald Trump entered a new phase today with senators getting to ask questions, not just opening statements. They're expected to vote by the end of this week on the biggest question remaining, whether witnesses like John Bolton will testify. NBC's Alice Barr has details from Washington. Today, the jury weighs in for the first time in the impeachment trial of President Trump, with senators submitting questions for the Chief Justice to read aloud. Mr. Chief Justice. Three of the most watched moderate Republicans asking if the president could have had both personal and public interest in pushing Ukraine to investigate the Bidens. How should the Senate consider more than one motive? There's always some personal interest in the electoral outcome of policy decisions. And there's nothing wrong with that. If any part of the president's motivation was a corrupt motive, that is enough to convict. The questioning quickly shifted to former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Democrats want him to testify after the New York Times reported Bolton claims in an upcoming book that President Trump told him he withheld military aid to Ukraine for political reasons. Today, there's news the National Security Council warned Bolton last week not to publish the book, claiming it contains classified information. President Trump calling Bolton's account nonsense. He's threatened to block his testimony. The field of national security and foreign affairs, that's the crown jewels of executive privilege. Executive privilege cannot be used to hide wrongdoing. The president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, calling Bolton a backstabber, while one of Giuliani's indicted associates, Lev Parnas, made a surprise visit to the Capitol today, saying he, Bolton, and even the president should testify. The truth is the president knew everything that was going on. Senators tasked with seeking the truth, now deciding how much more they need to hear. As senators weigh the question of witnesses, moderates in both parties will be critical. Red State Democrat Joe Manchin saying today if witnesses are called, he'd be open to hearing from Hunter Biden. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. The Harvey Weinstein trial continues this week in New York. Today, two people testified who are actually not associated with the actual criminal case that Weinstein sexually assaulted them as well. This is all part of the prosecution's attempt to establish a trend of prior bad acts by the now disgraced Hollywood producer. The trial continues tomorrow. Weinstein has pleaded not guilty to the multiple sexual assault and rape charges against him. U.S. Border Patrol officials say they have discovered the longest illegal cross-border tunnel ever discovered along the southwest border. It's a passageway just five feet wide are five feet tall, two feet wide. It's three quarters of a mile long, 70 feet below the earth. It's between Tijuana and the U.S. border. Investigators believe a cartel used it to transfer illegal drugs without being noticed, but no arrests or drug seizures have been made. One Northwood swim team is off to another tremendous start to their season. Coming up on Newswatch 12, we'll check out the Hodags work in the pool and how it is a true team effort. That's after weather here on Newswatch 12. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Ag Country Farm Credit Services. Mattress savings are going the distance at Furniture and Appliance Mart's Mattress Marathon. Save instantly during the biggest mattress sale of the year on Tempur-Pedic and iComfort Cooling Gel Memory Foam Mattresses. Plus, get 55% off Ashley Sleep Mattresses and Doorbusters store-wide at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Now get a Ford F-150 with 11489 in total estimated savings, or get zero for 72-month financing. 
America isn't just sick of Donald Trump. America's getting sicker. There are one million more uninsured Americans every year under Trump, and he's repeatedly tried to repeal Obamacare. Mike Bloomberg will make sure everyone without health coverage can get it and everyone who likes theirs keep it, while capping fees to lower costs. As mayor, he helped expand coverage to 700,000 more people and champion women's reproductive health. As president, he'll give access to everyone. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. How does the automatic emergency braking in the Chevy Equinox work? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Can you tell me how lane keep assist with lane departure warning works? Lane departure warning? What is that exactly? Kids may not know about the 2020 Chevy Equinox's standard safety features, but every parent should. Get $3,750 cash allowance on most Equinox models. Plus, current GM owners can get an additional $750 cash allowance. And eligible GM card members get $1,000 in bonus earnings. What are you doing? Dude, I'm so excited. I just can't wait for summer. Can't wait to get on the water? Then get to the biggest and best boat show only at American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. We'll beat any boat deal by 500 bucks. Lowest prices guaranteed. And don't forget the prizes. Over $40,000 worth, including a free pontoon. Don't get left out in the cold. Get to the American Marine Boat Show. Shawano. Furniture and Appliance Mart is inviting you to our friends and family one day sale this Saturday with a preview day Friday. Get up to half off all appliances throughout the store. Plus get a free 10 year limited warranty with any appliance purchase this weekend only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Well, this was fun. Clouds and snow showers all day today. You know, Chicago is having its longest stretch of cloudy days in about 20 years, and we're getting close as well as uh, the clouds continue, not just tonight, but tomorrow, most likely for Friday and Saturday, too, and a couple of light snow showers out there, too. Okay, the temperatures, though, are at 21 currently at the airport in Rhinelander with a calm wind there. Over in Wausau, 22 for you. Nice job with a calm wind as well. We're looking pretty good across the area. Temperatures in the low 20s. Uh, the average high is 22 this time of year. We did that say we did 23. We'll do even better tomorrow as some slightly warmer air is on the way and then we get kind of warmer than that on Friday 29, Saturday 32 and here we go 38. We're going to reach for 40 on Sunday for one day only. We're going to crash back down to 34 on Monday followed by 20 on Tuesday and Wednesday with a cool down expected through much of next week. Looking outside right now though we have uh, cloudy skies and snow on the ground here in Minocqua but the traffic is going a couple icy spots out there as well with temperatures in the 20s and upper teens currently. Uh, we'll have lows tonight down in the middle teens or so. And here are all the clouds from space. And there are lots of them. And not just for us. It's for Michigan, too, and parts of the uh, Chicago area over toward Minneapolis. So get ready. There's more clouds on the way. And there's going to be a break, though. We could get a break for maybe an hour or two tomorrow in the cloud cover. That will allow some sunshine. Remember that to come through for tomorrow afternoon, but just for maybe five or 10 minutes until it clouds back over again, because this system here will catch up to it and that's going to bring us some light snow showers on Friday. The big picture shows high pressure in charge, but it's kind of a messy area of high pressure. Lots of moisture in the atmosphere with it. Uh, thus, we have the clouds out there right now. It will move to the east tomorrow. We'll get a wind out of the south behind it, and that will give our temperatures a boost getting into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But then we're going to watch for this system as well. That could bring us a couple of light snow showers on Friday afternoon. But for right now, there's cloud cover out there now and a few light flurries across much of the area. But again, that will not be a big deal, uh, especially then this system comes in behind it. And there are several more of these little systems coming behind that as well, but they're most likely going to miss parts of Wisconsin traveling to the north and the south of us. Uh, for us, just little chances for flurries every now and then. Here's that snowfall for Friday. We're talking maybe a half inch of snowfall Friday afternoon, but that's going to be a stretch. Then we're done for the weekend before we get some more light snow in here later on in parts of next week. Your forecast though for tonight though is mostly cloudy skies, a couple of flurries out there, low temperatures down near 11 or 12 with a calm wind out there already for tomorrow. Okay, so mostly cloudy, high temperatures near 26, a calm wind throughout the afternoon. We'll take it. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwoods Furniture shows dry tomorrow. There's a chance for a few light snow showers Friday, followed by a break in the action Saturday and Sunday. And look at Sunday's temperature, a high of 38. Justin. The Rhinelander Special Olympics held an impact night tonight to raise money for its athletes. Athletes, coaches, and volunteers got to serve customers at Pizza Ranch in Rhinelander. Customers got to donate money that will go to their year-round training and competition for those with disabilities. 
Each one of our seasons will be approximately two and a half to three months. A lot of practice, 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 and then the regional competitions and the state competitions follow. The event wrapped up at 8 tonight. The organization encourages folks to look into volunteering for future events as well. The Wisconsin men's basketball team is losing one of their biggest name players. Details straight ahead in sports right here on Newswatch 12. Mattress savings are going the distance at Furniture and Appliance Mart's Mattress Marathon. Save instantly during the biggest mattress sale of the year on Tempur-Pedic and iComfort Cooling Gel Memory Foam Mattresses. Plus, get 55% off Ashley Sleep Mattresses and Doorbusters store-wide at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Sheridisi with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain free. Call today. Jason Church, here's his story. One of us from Menominee, played equals football, joined ROTC. When his country called, Jason served. Army Infantry, Ranger School, Afghanistan. Wounded, he never gave up. Jason Church, not another politician. He's the real deal. Serve, fight, do what's right. The Trump conservative we need in Congress. With Honor Fund Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Save big money in all of your home improvement projects now at Menards. Nobody beats our selection of indoor lighting. Design your unique look with Hunter Mix and Match Lamps and Shades. Choose from over 250 combinations on sale. Right now, all in-stock Hunter ceiling fans are on sale. Get a 52-inch LED low-profile ceiling fan. It's perfect for large rooms and is available in four finishes. Get one for just $79.99 each right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Furniture and Appliance Mart is inviting you to our friends and family one-day sale this Saturday with a preview day Friday. Get up to half off all appliances throughout the store. Plus, get a free 10-year limited warranty with any appliance purchase this weekend only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Coming up on a Thursday, we're going to tell you how to make a winning Super Bowl party. That's right. Don Tyson from the Triggs and Rangleader will be here with a spectacular Super Bowl spread. And we have more cloudy skies, some light snow showers, and warmer temperatures on the way. All the details coming up on your Thursday. One of the best players on the University of Wisconsin men's basketball team announced today he is transferring out of the program. Richard's sophomore Kobe King made the decision on social media, just saying he thinks it's the best step for his future. Didn't elaborate. The lacrosse natives averaging about 10 points per game this season. That's second on the team. The Badgers next host 14th ranked Michigan State on Saturday. Local high school swim teams wrap up their dual season this week, and the Rhinelander Hodags are one, one meet away from finishing an undefeated Great Northern Conference season for the second straight year. Newswatch 12's Maisie Vincent tells us how Rhinelander has found success in a new way. I really think that we have um, a lot of potential to do some really cool things in a different way this year. The Hodak swim team sits 9-0 in the Great Northern Conference, but you won't see just a few superstars winning each event like last season. It's really fun this year. It's, it's different. It's good. It's been great to be able to switch people around and um, not rely on just one person. Instead, the team relies on its depth, including a strong freshman class. It's really awesome to be able to to, to have them here, like 
looking up to me, but also we're just friends. But the senior leadership has been key too. The freshmen said their senior captains have kept the team on track to claiming another conference title. It's really motivational to have them like help us with our strokes, with getting to the pool on time, everything. Rhinelander has already been crowned the GNC champions, but the swimmers believe the team's success will carry on all the way to the state meet in February. We work really, really hard, harder than any any team at Rhinelander, I think, to, to get where we are. And so I think that's what we want to aspire to. And I think it's a gift that I have a great group of guys who are willing to give the effort, and they do it every day. Covering sports in Rhinelander, Maisie Vincent, News Watch 12. Rhinelander welcomes Lakeland tomorrow for their final dual meet of the season. The Hodags also host that great Northern Conference meet that's next Thursday. For some people, the real stars of the Super Bowl are not on the field. They're in the commercials. And this year, one of those commercials features a special dog from Wisconsin. You can hear the story up next on Newswatch 12. Shirts. Sheets, hand towels, bath towels, gym wear, or whatever wear. You can't skip laundry, but now you can skip adding detergent. Fill once and wash up to 40 loads. Select Whirlpool washers with Load & Go Dispenser. Another way we're shaping the future of care. That's at Jensen Akins of Conover, of course. When we say every Culver's Butter Burger is cooked to order, here's what we mean. Can I get a Butter Burger? The Culver's Deluxe, please. Ketchup, mustard, pickle, and onion? Craig Culver, I'm going to cook for you. Follow me. I want to look Come on, too. Fresh beef. It looks great. <laughs> and we're looking for that nice sear, just like we got right here. That's where that great steak flavor comes from. Totally fresh, made to order the way you want it. Searing it to perfection is really cool to see that. Welcome to Delicious. This is the Chevy Silverado with the world's first invisible trailer. Invisible trailer? Hop in. Silverado offers an optional technology package with up to 15 different views, including one enhanced view that makes your trailer appear invisible. Wow. That's pretty That's sweet. Cool. Where's the trailer though? <laughs> Get 0% financing for 72 months on all 2020 Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Plus, eligible GM card members get $1,000 in bonus earnings. That's on top of most other offers. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. When you call a company other than Maher Water Corporation to service your water treatment system, do you really know what or who you are getting? Many companies just measure you up to do a bang up job, then charge hundreds of dollars and have you sign service contracts. Maher's technicians are trained to not only service our own water care equipment, but most others as well. So if you don't want just any service tech servicing your water equipment, call us at Maher's today. We know it can be scary when you're injured in an accident. We know the insurance company can be unfair. We know bills need to be paid. But we also know what it takes to win. We know what it takes to get our clients compensated. And most importantly, we always fight to do the right thing for our community. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. Nicolay knows. knows. Injury law. Nicolay law. Wausau's award-winning injury, disability, and bankruptcy law firm. The Super Bowl is this Sunday, but as you know, it's not all about the game. Many folks also tune in for the commercials. And it appears one golden retriever is ready to seal the spotlight with a commercial that also highlights the work of the University of Wisconsin at Veterinary Clinic. Michelle Beck has more on the dog named Scout. With sparkling eyes and a tail that always seems to be wagging, Scout, the seven-year-old golden retriever, is ready for his shining moment. Hi, I'm Scout. And I'm a lucky dog. He'll star in a 30-second Super Bowl commercial by car accessories maker WeatherTech. CEO David McNeil is also his dad. Most people know what we do, but what can we do that's going to have a bigger impact? It's not just Scout's friendly demeanor that landed him the leading role. He's courageous, uh, very sweet to work with. Scout, as I mentioned, was really the, the perfect patient. Last summer, Scout collapsed from a tumor on his heart. And there he was in this little room, standing in the corner. The vets near David's home in Illinois <sighs> Sorry. told him there was no hope. 
and he's wagging his tail at me. And I'm like, I'm not putting that dog down. There's just absolutely no way. So David and Scout turned to the UW School of Veterinary Medicine. We throw aggressive therapy at aggressive cancers like Scout has. Scout went through chemotherapy and radiation therapy and immunotherapy. The great result is, is that that giant tumor that made him collapse on the side of his heart, thanks to the University of Wisconsin, that tumor is virtually gone. It's that I'm a cancer survivor. This Super Bowl Sunday, we couldn't be in better hands. This CEO will ask viewers to help the researchers that saved his best friend's life. I hope it has a positive impact on cancer for the animals and people all over the world. He'll be watching with Scout by his side. Mattress savings are going the distance. At Furniture and Appliance Mart's Mattress Marathon. Save instantly during the biggest mattress sale of the year on Tempur-Pedic and iComfort Cooling Gel Memory Foam Mattresses. Plus, get 55% off Ashley Sleep Mattresses and Doorbusters store-wide at Furniture and Appliance Mart. How does the automatic emergency braking in the Chevy Equinox work? I don't know. <laughs> what? Can you tell me how lane keep assist with lane departure warning works? Lane departure warning? What is that exactly? Kids may not know about the 2020 Chevy Equinox's standard safety features, but every parent should. Get $3,750 cash allowance on most Equinox models. Plus, current GM owners can get an additional $750 cash allowance. And eligible GM card members get $1,000 in bonus earnings. I'm Tom Tiffany. I'm a husband, a father, a proven conservative reformer, and I'm the dam tender on the Willow Flowage. So I know a thing or two about holding up under pressure. I'm asking for your vote on Tuesday, February 18th, because President Trump needs proven reinforcements in Congress to stem the tide of socialism, to keep our economy flowing strong, and because nobody knows how to drain a swamp like a dam man. I'm Tom Tiffany, and I approve this message. Now get a Ford F-150 with 11489 in total estimated savings, or get zero for 72 month financing. Furniture and Appliance Mart is inviting you to our friends and family one day sale this Saturday with a preview day Friday. Get up to half off all appliances throughout the store. Plus get a free 10 year limited warranty with any appliance purchase this weekend only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Hi, I'm Dana Gray of Miracle Air in Wausau. Are you having a difficult time hearing your favorite entertainment and news programs? If so, give me a call for your complimentary hearing evaluation. All right, buddy, temperatures are hanging out in the low 20s. We'll go down to probably 10, 11, 12 degrees for low temperatures tonight because we have lots of clouds out there. Imagine that. So clouds out there tonight, clouds throughout much of tomorrow, but there is a chance about a five minute window tomorrow, we could see a couple rays of sunshine, so that'll perk our spirits up <laughs> throughout the afternoon. Uh, but then we have another system getting in here on Friday, that'll bring more clouds and probably a few light snow showers by Friday afternoon. Here's your seven day, nice day tomorrow, 26. Friday, a couple snow showers, high of near 30. And then we're in the 30s, even getting close to 40 on Groundhog Day on Sunday which is also Super Bowl Sunday too. We have two types of viewers out there, the ones who want it to warm up or ready yes. for spring, and the ones who want to ice down to get out on the trail. Uh, yeah, the there's an even match right now. I there think. is, it's tough. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for joining us on News Watch 12 at 10. Have a great night. Mattress savings are going the distance at Furniture and Appliance Mart's Mattress Marathon. Save instantly during the biggest mattress sale of the year on Tempur-Pedic and iComfort Cooling Gel Memory Foam Mattresses. Plus, get 55% off Ashley Sleep Mattresses and Doorbusters store-wide at Furniture and Appliance Mart. What does it mean to fight for what's right? To us, it means helping accident victims get their lives back to normal again. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Are you?
you doing? Dude, I'm so excited. I just can't wait for summer. Can't wait to get on the water? Then get to the biggest and best boat show only at American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. We'll beat any boat deal by 500 bucks. Lowest prices guaranteed. And don't forget the prizes. Over $40,000 worth, including a free pontoon. Don't get left out in the cold. Get to the American Marine Boat Show. Shawano. Hi, I'm Dennis from Irma. I've had excruciating pain in my lower back and neck. And I contacted Dr. Scherer. We went over the situation together. And after a series of treatments, my pain is gone. So I feel that it was complete and successful. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. Hi, I'm Dodger from Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. When I want my forecast for Wittenberg, I go to WJFW.com and check my hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. Furniture and Appliance Mart is inviting you to our friends and family one day sale this Saturday with a preview day Friday. Get up to half off all appliances throughout the store. Plus get a free 10 year limited warranty with any appliance purchase this weekend only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. From Studio 6B in Rockefeller Center in the heart of New York City, it's The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Hey, 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 hey. Tonight, joining Jimmy and his guest, Blake Lively, hey, 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 hey. Jamila Jamil, hey, musical hey, hey, guest, hey. Roddy Rich, and featuring the legendary Roots Crew. 1198! Yeah. And now, here he is, Jimmy Fallon! Hey, hey, And welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching at home. Let's get to some news. President Trump's Senate impeachment trial continued today with part one of a 16-hour question and answer session. Yeah, so if you thought this trial couldn't get any more exciting, you were right. <laughs> 16 hours of Q&A. Today, Bernie Sanders was like, who was on trial? Trump or my bladder? <laughs> I, uh... That's right, 16 hours of questions. It's like what happens after you set up the Wi-Fi at your parents' house. So, do we press the button there, and then you, uh, and then you type in the password? Do we make the password? It comes with the, the password. But here's how it worked. The senators wrote their questions on a slip of paper that was handed to Chief Justice John Roberts, who read it out loud. It got awkward when Roberts was like, OK, next question. Uh, why is John Roberts such a wang? Oh, come on, guys, grow up. Hey, we're here all day, guys. And the official card senators had to fill out to ask a question. Uh, look at this thing. Yeah, looks like the card you fill out before singing karaoke. <laughs> the Republicans are worried because they don't uh, currently have enough votes to block witnesses like John Bolton from being called to testify. Yeah, Trump's in a real jam, which probably explains why this signal was shining over the White House tonight. <laughs> I hear you. I'm, I'm on my way. But Trump is staying busy. Last night, he held a rally in New Jersey and tried to say the word criminals, but he had a little trouble saying it. Check it out. Democrats decided to shield and shelter criminals. Look, look. look. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a smooth cover-up. <laughs> it's like a criminal. Look, look. 
<laughs> Can you show it one more time, Dave? I'm sorry. I the shield and shelter criminal. Uh, look. <laughs> right, right. Well, we notice Trump has trouble pronouncing things all the time. So with that in mind, it's time to play Talk Like Trump. Here we go. <laughs> Here's how this works. I'm going to see if anyone can guess how the president is going to mispronounce a simple word. If you get it right, you get a prize. If you get it wrong, you still get a prize. All right, <laughs> raise your hand if you want to play Talk Like Trump. Anybody? <laughs> you over there? It's going to be tricky to get over here, but sure, come on over. Thanks, pal. Oh, you could stand there. I'll just. Okay. Well, no. Well, all right, yeah. Yeah, just come. I'll try. I'll try to try. That's right. All right. This. No one's making it easy. Stand up. Let him have. Just stop right there. Just stay right there. That's perfect. No, no. Don't go back. Just. All right. Oh, come over. I, yeah, I can't stop the man. All right, here we go. What is your name? My name's Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Uh, stop looking at yourself. Just. Oh, okay. Be here now. Be here now. I'm here, I'm here, Be here I'm now. Here, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, Daniel, where are you from? I'm from Princeton, New Jersey. All right. Now we both looked. We shouldn't have either one of us looked. All right, now you can look at it a little bit. Because now it's weird. You're just staring at me. All right, don't wave at anyone. <laughs> oh my God. All right, Daniel. Uh, okay. Um, in your uh, smile, it's fun. You're having fun. In our first clip, President Trump is going to try and say the phrase "stock market." Okay. Okay. Stock. How do you think that he'll mispronounce "stock market"? Stock market. <laughs> Like, like, stock, stock market? Stock, stock market. He thinks, <laughs> he thinks President Trump's gonna say stock market. <laughs> yeah, never know, let's see what happened. You know, we just said another stock rocket. You, you ah, saw that, right? Ah, stock rocket. Stock rocket, you lost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do I still get a prize? Yeah, this is it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> get, get out of here. Who else? <laughs> How you doing, bud? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. What is your name? Sean. Sean, where are you from? Brooklyn. Ah, Brooklyn! <laughs> See, that's how you do it, Daniel! Uh, what is he looking at? I have no idea what he's looking at. Our next clip, Trump tries to say, United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates. How do you think he'll mispronounce that? United... <laughs> I know. United Emirates. <laughs> you think he's used to say... You... Um, yeah, 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 United Emirates. <laughs> and then and leave Arab out yeah, completely. Yeah, and leave it out completely. United Emirates? No, look. United Emirates? All right. Let's see what happened. I also want to thank Oman, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> the United Arab Emirates. Very close, sorry, but you lost. Here's your prize. There you go. Thank you for playing. Thank you. We're close. We're close. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Uh, what is your name? Alyssa. Alyssa, where are you from? Parsippany, New Jersey. Ah, New Jersey in the house. For our final clip, Trump tries to say witch hunt. Oh, witch hunt. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, yeah. How do you think he's going to say witch hunt? Um... Be careful. We're on national television. <laughs> Hunt witch. Oh, you think he'll say it backwards? Yeah, hundred percent. It's like a, like a baby Yoda Trump. Yeah, All right, this is yeah, very interesting. That's it. All right, here we go. She, he thinks she's gonna say hunt witch. Uh, let's see what happened. The American people are disgusted by the Washington Democrat wish, wish uh, and you see it. There you, you go. The wish, uh, well, uh, you see it. There you go. Right, very close. Sorry, to but thank you for playing. Talk like Trump. Thank you all the players right here. Let's get back to the board jokes. Here we go. Hey, guys, I saw that the editor-in-chief of BuzzFeed News is leaving for the New York Times. Yeah. At a staff meeting, he wrote a list of what he was going to miss about BuzzFeed, and number 16 blew their mind. There's five That's people at BuzzFeed That's laughing hard at That's that joke. That's a really good joke. Thank you. Well, this isn't good. A college football coach in Michigan was suspended <laughs> after telling the student newspaper that he admired Hitler's leadership skills. <laughs> Even crazier, all the reporter asked was, who's going to be your quarterback next season? <laughs> Afterward, the coach was like, oh, I should have said Bin Laden. <laughs> Finally, police in Florida caught an alligator who was peering into windows at a local shopping center. Oh. Uh, there was a sad moment when the alligator saw some boots and was like, Carl? 
We have a great show. Give it up for The Roots. I've been born up so hard that I think that I'm Kobe. Young boy of this rap, man, I think that I'm Kobe. Dunking on these jokers, man, I think that I'm Kobe. Think that I'm Kobe. Think that I'm Kobe. Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> we have a fun show tonight. Blake Lively is here. Oh, we always love Blake Lively. Jamila Jamil is here. Oh. And she's funny. Yeah. I love her, man. Uh, and we got great music from Roddy Rich. Yeah. I think right now, this is the number one song, I believe. Right really? Now. Yeah. The, he's, he's performed the song The Box tonight. Do you want to hear a little bit? Yeah, please. Bust me off a piece. Should I put it? My, should I cape it? I would. I would cape it if you're going to listen to Roddy Rich. Look out! Look out! He's going to take on the cape. Yeah. 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 Jam, dude. I was capable. Number one song in the box. Fantastic. Roddy Rich. Uh, guys, it is time for tonight's show, Hashtag. <laughs> this is interesting. We do this thing every week where I send out a hashtag, and we ask you guys to respond to that topic. Uh, this week, I sent out a hashtag called, Add a Word, Ruin a Book. And ask you guys to take a book title and add one word to completely change the meaning. Uh, for example, I sent out a tweet that said, Catch 22 Pokemon. <laughs> uh, within minutes, uh, the hashtag became the number one trending topic in the world. What? In the world. In the world. world? Not just the country. No. Every country. Every country. The, in world. the world. Yeah, you Not heard just North America. You heard of it? Stuff. The world? Yeah, Google it. The world? Bing it. Bing it? Yeah. I got Ask Jeeves it. about it. I got Jeeves it, buddy. Yeah. In the wild. Uh, so now I thought I'd share some of my favorite add a word, ruin a book responses from you guys. Uh, this first one's from Haley Victory. She says, Charlotte's Web History. Oh. <laughs> See how it works? <laughs> Next one's from at Karen On. She says, The Conference Call of the Wild. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Who's on? <laughs> Buck. Buck. <laughs> this one's from at Carl Stawicki. Oh. It's Carl Stawicki. Wiki, 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 shut up. Ah, uh, I'm too late. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Chili B. Yeah. Uh, he, oh, it's, this is from Carl Stawicki. He says, Charlie Manson and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> it's all in here, man. Ever like it all God along, man. man. <laughs> this one's from uh, Gum Gummerson. Oh. Uh, he right. says Jane AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one, yeah. He He's the left the pod ones. to my right. <laughs> pod. This one's from at Megan Stotts One. She says, This is Baby Yoda. Oh, that's my that's my jam. That's my book. Oh. Can I see that graphic again? <laughs> that's, uh, I should do that. I like that. Yoda. Come on. Thank you, Megan Stotts. One. This was from at Jackie Boy 2232. He says, Yurtle the Turtle Soup. Oh, oh okay. Hey. Come on now. These are jokes. <laughs> this one's from at, at Being Nate Brown. He says, Fifty Shades of Grey Poupon. Hey. Oh, that's pretty, <laughs> classy. That's very classy. That's very good. Last one's from at uh, Shelly Lerma. She says, Jurassic Trailer Park. There you oh. have it, everybody. Those are. Hashtag to check out more of our favorites, go to tonightshow.com slash hashtag. Stick around, we'll be right back with Blake Lively. I'm Cosmo B from outer space, here to rock the human race. I do it right because I can't do it wrong. That's why the whole world is singing my song. Jam on it, a jam on it, a just jam, j -j 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 jam on it. Only life.
Lexus asks questions like these, because we believe the most amazing machines are inspired by you. Experience the rewards of our curiosity. Pringles wavy, with a big crunch and totally different flavors. They're not really Pringles. Just like that's not really daddy. Yes, it is. Okay. Pringles Wavy. Big crunch, big flavor. It's important to have a reliable network. You all use it in different ways. Everyone in your family is different. Someone's streaming sports, someone's video chatting her friends. <laughs> so Verizon has plans to mix and match starting at $35 and up to $700 toward our best phones. The network more people rely on gives you more. Fact is, every insurance company hopes you drive safely. But Allstate helps you with DriveWise. <laughs> Feedback that helps you drive safer. And that could lower your cost. Now that you know the truth, are you in good hands? Good ideas catch on fast. Good clean food, even faster. Order Panera for delivery, catering, or rapid pickup at PaneraBread.com. We've all been here before. The conference room, the speakerphone, the missing files. Not in the room, then you're not in the know. Well, this has been nice, but can we not? How about we invite everyone you work with to work together? Be seen, be heard, be there when you're not. Share your files and your opinion, and maybe even a happy little fruit guy. When you're ready to unleash the power of your team, open Teams. Tonight on Critics' Choice Award winner Seth Meyers from The Good Place, Kristen Bell. And I wave goodbye. Comedians Jesus and Mero, Little Big Town, and Trump tweeted in Hebrew and Arabic. Said Trump, what? I thought those were emojis. New set. Hi, I'm Mary, owner of So Smart, Central Wisconsin's largest and longest running FAF dealership. The FAF IDT system makes piecing quilts so easy. Shop FAF sewing, quilting, and embroidery machines at So Smart in Rhinelander and Wausau. Save big money on all of your home improvement projects at Menards. Insulate and save up to 15% on your heating costs with Guardian Fiberglass Insulation from Knopf. Craft Face Star 13 is great for walls and basements. A 40-square-foot roll is $9.99. Keep your engine running smoothly with Shell. Rotella Heavy-Duty Motor Oil controls wear deposits and emissions. A gallon is just $12.79 right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Droughts, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes. Donald Trump is making it worse. All of this with the global warming and the, that, and a lot of it's a hoax. Mike Bloomberg knows the science and understands the challenge. He's led an effort that has shut down half the nation's dirty, polluting coal plants so far. As president, a plan for 80% clean energy by 2028. Cutting carbon emissions and creating millions of clean energy jobs. Mike will get it done. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. So Smart in Wausau and Rhinelander is your DIY and fabric headquarters. I love teaching pre FAF owner lessons at So Smart. Making clothes is great with my FAF creative icon that I bought at So Smart. Shop FAF sewing, quilting, and embroidery machines at So Smart. Welcome back to the Tonight Show. We are joined right now by one of our favorites. She stars in the new movie, The Rhythm Section. Give it up for Blake Lively! Blake and I are about to face off in a game called Box of Lies. Now, here's how it works. We have nine mystery boxes containing objects no one has ever seen before. On your turn, you pick a box, take out the object, describe it to your opponent. They have to guess if you're lying or telling the truth. We'll play three rounds. Blake, why don't you pick the first... Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the Price is Right. That was so exciting. Okay, I take it first. All right. Already it looks pretty light. Could have pretended it was heavy, no. but you didn't. Yeah. Well, all right. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. What I have in my hands here. Yeah. What do you have in your hands there? It's milky. Uh, there's some soggy, rainbowy chunks in here. Uh, it's a milky, soggy, rainbowy chunk. This is how you describe something. This is how you describe something time, real that's in front of you. Device. 
Oh. Time telling device? Mm hmm. Now that would only mean one thing to me a watch, perhaps. Mm hmm. What else could tell time? A sundial? Uh, mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Could like tell time. Greek? Yeah, I, what, what a, a time telling device? Who says that? I think that you're lying. I don't, do not believe that that is what you have. You are, that is a lie. Do I win if, if you got it right or do I win? If... <laughs> <laughs> to, to be honest, to be honest, I just forgot for a second. <laughs> You, no, you, if, if I get it right, you lose. That I was lying? Yes. Oh, I want to take it back. <laughs> no! Wait. Wait, <laughs> what? Oh, wait. <laughs> you, you did win. Oh, my gosh, you won. That was... Oh. No, I saw what you did there. That was a very odd description. A very odd description, but... The weirdest game. She I've did ever. have that. You're right. It's an odd Who game. these things up? Dude, we... we <laughs> 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 Someone just screamed, three, three! She's yelling three, all right. Here we go, here we go, all right. What? Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. I'd say it's a... It's very, it's funny. Mm -hmm. It's funny. Mm -hmm. It's funny that you're here. Because mm -hmm. it's a paperweight. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a head on it. <laughs> it's like a very weighted weight. <laughs> brass, I'd say, a mixture of metals mm -hmm. in the brass variety. Unlacquered brass? Variety, yeah, brass? it's a matte. A matte brass? Two T's and an E, matte uh -huh. finish. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, and then there's a Deadpool head on top. Describe the shape of the head. <laughs> cylinder, <laughs> cylinder, like a cylinder head. Like with the mask or without the mask? Oh, with the mask. Uh huh. Yeah, mask head. And like, describe the back of the head. <laughs> it's red and black. You're lying. What? Yeah. He's got a little whoop. <laughs> Wait, is that oh. the rock? Yeah, it's the rock. That's the rock, the rock on a rock. Wait, you gotta give that to me. My husband's working with him right now. He's, oh, really? This would be his like, really creepy star kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it to him and tell him that Ryan hand painted it for him. <laughs> Oh my gosh! So mad you got that. All right. Oh wait, here, do I have to put let, this back in the box? Let's do. Right? Let's do one more. Yeah, I can take okay. it here. I'll give this to my wife. Uh, she, <laughs> she, she loves the Wizard of Oz. Here you go. Uh, okay. Oh whoa! I just activated the cereal. Okay. <laughs> we have to. Someone has to eat this before oh, wait, the time's up. Fun. All right. Eight. We'll do one. One more last wait. one. Wow, it's the helium in this thing. Oh, I just heard it. It was very heavy. You lied already. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's real. I don't know if you're going to get this pop culture reference. Um, I think that's Devin Sawa. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, is it? <laughs> Okay. Uh, then I know, I probably know exactly what it is. It's J14. J14. Mm-hmm. With a, um, oh God. Um, it's like a trough of, um, oh, I don't, I, no, like a pedestal, like a, what do you, like a bird bath, I guess, of uh, actual chili. All right, those uh, are the first two things I understood cheese. that you said. All right, <laughs> bird bath and chili. All right, now we're on my level. Devin Sawa, now I told up... you. You don't remember Devin Sawa? Devin Sawa is my best he was roommate. Like a he was my, he's my favorite. What? I mean, I think it's Devin Sawa. Maybe I'm the old one. I don't know. Okay, and then there's like a, a bird bath of, of fresh chili with freshly grated cheese and, and chives and sour cream. And um, uh, and then there's a bird. Uh, uh, stop, stop talking. There's a stop. bird. Stop, with stop, stop. Green juice. Stop talking. Stop it right now. With the Mohawk. Because let me tell you something.
something. It I would have smelled box. chili if chili was out of that box. So, I'm a detective. Blake Lively. You lie!